In the last video, you listed all components of your meeting agenda template. In this video, you will format your template so it is easy to read and fits the purpose of your meeting. Your agenda is the roadmap for your meeting, so it's important that attendees can find the information they are looking for and know what is expected of them. The style and layout of your agenda can change, depending on the type of meeting you are having and the topics that will be discussed. For example, if you will be brainstorming during your meeting, leave extra space to type everyone's ideas. If there are a lot of people attending, use bullets to form a roster instead of listing names in a paragraph form. Your template might look different from the one shown here, depending on your meeting's purpose and specific needs. One way to structure your agenda is with titles and headings. Titles and headings stand out and help you organize your information in a consistent way. First, center your meeting title and format it as Heading 1. If you'd like to make it stand out more, try bolding the text and adjusting the size. Next, format the purpose. Select Subtitle so it still stands out but looks different from the agenda title. Select a heading style for logistics and heading styles for the rest of the sections. Choose whichever heading styles you like. Now create different types of bulleted lists to organize the agenda sections and notes. Press tab under a bulleted item to create a sub-bullet. Press backspace to remove the sub-bullet. Nice job! There are lots of different ways to structure your agenda. Use formatting that draws the eye to each section so readers can quickly find and access the information they need if they missed a meeting or want to review the old notes. Choose a style that works best for your meeting's purpose. In the next video, you will add a table of contents and finish formatting your agenda template. Now, it's your turn. Format titles and headings for each section and create bulleted lists.